Everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. Thanks for joining us tonight. Teens and drinking all too often, the two go hand in hand, especially around prom season. But one high school is taking extra steps now to make sure its prom is a safe one. Every student who walked through the door tonight was given a breathalyzer test. News A's Bob Wilson spent the night in Oxford getting reaction from kids and their parents. Bob? Yeah, actually, it's Oxford High School, and here's one of the important reasons why they have to have the breathalyzer is because the prom is being held in Southington about 45 minutes away, and as they showed up on the red carpet all glammed up, they were also met with the breathalyzer. I have no problem with it. I don't drink, so I have nothing to hide. Go sober or go home. That's the message, and it's more than just words this year. Students will face chaperones armed with a breathalyzer as they enter the prom. I don't have a problem with it. I didn't drink, so I think it's actually better because it's a safety precaution to keep those people out of our way. It's the first time the Oxford School District has backed up their zero tolerance policy with a breathalyzer. But after the stories of teen drinking, they decided to take no chances. We've heard from, you know, like high schools in the past and high school movies nowadays with all the prom partying and stuff. I actually think it's really good that they're doing this and I think it's good that they're laying down the laws. So here's how the breathalyzer will work. As students wander through the gardens here or going out of the dance hall, they can be subject to it at any time. There is one small drawback to it. The fact that gum or mouthwash can trigger a false positive. Even so, students say they still think it's a good idea. I think it's good. A lot, a lot of kids do do bad things and, you know, it happens, so might as well prevent it. Parents are glad the school board decided to implement the breathalyzer this year because the prom is in Southington, a 45-minute late-night drive home to Oxford that can be tedious even sober. It keeps our kids safe, keeps people on the streets safe, keeps school safe. I think it's a great idea. I think it's awesome. I'm all for it. All for it. Parents very happy. They were there to pick up and drop off their son to make sure there was nothing going wrong there, especially driving late at night. But this policy is just a test run right now. They will reevaluate the policy next year, see just how many people, if any at all, showed up drinking and sent home, and then they will see if it's going to be good for next year. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.